You're pretty good with a knife. Should I be afraid? <laughs> no. This is gonna be super interesting. It smells good already. Thanks, babe, for peeling. Mwah. Tickets to your favorite city. I got plans for your ring, for your finger, and it's sitting pretty. I got bands for your story, for your friends. That's the smell from your face. Got you moving in my place. Yep. What up, Globetrotters? It's Jay Blaze. And Vanessa. And we're back with another episode of, of Mr. and Mrs. Globin. And today we're going to be making shrimp tacos, Taco Tuesday style. Oh, yes. That's our thing. And welcome mm, to our kitchen. Yummy. So what are we going to do first? We're going to do the marinade for the shrimp. Ooh, I can't wait. This with is my lemon, fire. a lot of garlic, and tahini. Of course, the shrimp marinade has a lot of garlic. I mm. love garlic. And that's healthy, too. What's the deal, baby? It's been a week on the beach. Is it real, baby? You're pretty good with a knife. Should I be afraid? <laughs> no. This is going to be super interesting. It smells good already. Okay, so what can I do? How can I help you cooking? You can peel the shrimps if you want. Oh, uh, I was thinking maybe I'll chop the tomatoes and the green onions. What do you guys think? You don't want to peel the shrimp? Uh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> um, Why not? I don't know. It's just a little bit of a more difficult task. But how about I help you with the lemon and the green onions? What do you think about that? You can do that, yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. So, first we're going to rinse the lemons. You don't want any bugs or parasites or anything that they spray on your stuff. Then, that was quick. a little bit of green onions here. It's kind of meant to be like a homemade pico de gallo without like almost the spices and stuff like that. It ends up working out really well. We do have pico de gallo, but it just gives it that like homemade taste. Yeah. You know, it's not really supposed to taste like pico de gallo. It's just supposed to give the tomatoes and the green onions a little extra kick. You know, they taste very good together. We're still prepping, you know. We got about a pound of shrimp is what we usually eat, something like that. They were frozen and we put yeah. them in like warm water mm -hmm. for about one hour, two hours and it works perfect. So they like defrosted now. Yeah. And I'm gonna peel them. Thanks babe for peeling. Mwah. Of course. I love to cook too. I cook for my bae sometimes. Her and I like two different types of shells. So maybe since you're doing the peeling, maybe I'll do the shells. Because the shells can be quite tedious, you know what I mean? So I'm cutting up two tomatoes right now for our meal. Shrimp tacos is one of my favorite Taco Tuesdays. Me Ooh, too, we yes. Get, we, we love tacos in this family, interestingly yeah. enough. What's the deal, baby? It's been a week on the beach. Is it real, baby? And after the summer, guys, we'll probably be moving to a new apartment, new kitchen, new furniture, new decorations. Vanessa moved into my apartment yeah. when she moved here. So it'll be our first apartment together. I'm done with our little homemade pico de gallo concoction. Amazing, looks good. The shrimp smell amazing. You know what the ingredients are to the tacos? It's gonna be tortillas, shrimp, green onions and tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, and a couple of different sauces. We like ketchup mixed with taco sauce. Don't ask why. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, whoa. And then we also have this chipotle sauce that tastes amazing. Mm -hmm. Get ready, this is gonna be dope. The recipe is from your family, right? Um, the taco recipe, yes, but they never actually made the same recipe that I make oh, you. with you. shrimp. So, you know, if you're anywhere from LA, everybody kind of does their tacos their own little way. So mm -hmm. just kind of been like taking that I like from other people's tacos, street tacos. A lot of people have them at their events or at their house parties. So I just took a lot of different things that I like and put it together and boom, and then I showed it to you and you liked it, so. Yes, I love it. Mm. That looks good too. Yeah, it looks amazing. So this is the plate of tomatoes I chopped up. Tomatoes and green onions, you know. Don't call it pico de gallo. I don't want anybody at me like, yo, that's not pico de gallo. <laughs> no, it's just a little homemade onions and tomatoes. It tastes a little bit like pico de gallo. Yeah, definitely. It's just fresh and gives the tacos a kick, brings out the flavor in the tacos, you know. Together, not just the green onions and not just the tomatoes. They gotta be together. So now we marinate the shrimps. I put the garlic in there, cut them in pieces so it fits on the tacos. Some olive oil. Um, 
sea salt and a lot of lemon. And I add tahin. And if you want it to um, get more intense, you can leave it in there for one hour, but I didn't prepare it earlier, so I'm gonna cook it in a few minutes. There, you, there we go. Now it's time to put the shrimp in the pot and cook it, you know what I mean? It smells so good. You want me to stir it? Lego. You can prepare the taco shells now. Before you came to America and started dating me, did you ever uh, have shrimp tacos before? Question? Mm. I don't think so. Amazing. Introducing like you to that. new things. <laughs> Even if it's something for us uh, Angelinos as tacos. What's the deal, baby? Spend a week on the beach is a real baby. Started Gonna be super juicy. She keep it juicy, juicy. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm talking about the shrimp, people. You can the make shrimp. you can make a Mexican song on. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to be making shells. Yeah. What's the deal, baby? Spent a week on the beach as a real baby. Started off paper play, does it feel crazy? Now I'm falling in love, that's a 180. Uh huh. What's the deal, baby? What's the deal, baby? What's the deal, baby? Would you feel for me if I keep it real, baby? As long as I can remember, I've been a pretender. But most of these women, I had a different agenda. Hit swift, cut deep, mysterious like a ninja. Put my bread up, sometime fed up. The cat and mouse game over. I set the traps full of cheese. Okay, now we're ready to eat. Woo, the best part. Go ahead, be my guest. <laughs> Thank you. This is universal, we're global, they're locals, like a love, it's always on tour, uh-huh. What's the deal? I always wonder if there's a special order to make the taco. Maybe you guys know more about it. Write it down in the comment. Yeah, what order do you put the stuff on your taco? I think that's correct though. I think you start with the shrimps first and with the cheese last. I don't think there's any particular order. I think people just do it how they want to do it. I think they do it like this in the restroom. But... There, there's no taco rules. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. No street rules, street taco rules. Yeah, there, there's no street taco rules. This is our ketchup mixed with uh, taco sauce. Um, I'm not exactly sure who came up with this, but mixed with this certain kind of taco sauce, which uh, I guess I'll show you another time. It tastes amazing. In you can fact, blend it in. Yeah, you blend it in, make a little custom concoction, and boom. Back together, then text that. The first bite. Mm. Mm. What's the deal, baby? Spend a week on the beach is a real baby. Of course, since I'm black, I like a lot of sauce, you know, I can't help it. Now I'm falling in love, that's a 180. Uh huh. What's the deal, baby? What's the deal? Mmm, super tasty. Mm -hmm. We let you guys into our home, into our kitchen. We showed you our taco recipe. So you don't gotta go home, but you gotta get the out of here. You know what I mean? Welcome to our crib. <laughs> so until next time, make sure you subscribe. Like and comment, and we'll be back with another episode of Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Global. Let's go. Tickets to your favorite city. I got plans for your ring, for your finger, and it's sitting pretty. I got bands for your story, for your friends. That's a smile from your face. Got you moving in my place. Yep. Plane tickets. To